is up guys justin m frank here happy to see you today we're just doing a quick knife banter over some of my smaller more gentleman like pocket knives uh so let's introduce them this is the benchmade la 380 this is the benchmade 756 micro pocket rocket this is the um utx 70 from microtech this is the benchmade uh impel lurch and this is the zero tolerance 022 the names on this one i believe are the silver spur um this one i have no idea this is a magnum knife though and this one i believe is halogen peck engineered or something like that i don't know the name of it exactly but it, that's the details so let's go ahead and weigh them all real quick try and get this done quickly so i'm going to show you a quick comparison between you know lower end and more high end knives Hope this helps out. Let's show you this knife a little bit. Nice knife. Friction folder. S30V steel. Works a great money clip too and a good bottle opener. Alright, let's see. 1.787 ounces from the Benchmade LA 380. Now this one's a little heftier, beefier. It's probably my favorite knife on the table to be honest. Shane Seibert design collaboration. You can see this is one of the first 100 ever made. 20 CV steel. Really nice titanium handles, titanium pot clip, and ice pivots. It's going to be heavy though, I bet you. Yeah, we're looking a lot heavier. 3.497. So pretty much 3.5 ounces. So not exactly like the Microtech UTX 70. Half serrated, half regular edge. Very nice knife. Strong knife. You can really actually put some force behind it and uh, holds up well. Let's get its weight. 1.195 ounces says light. Nice option. Now the Benchmade Impel Lurch. This one does have my initials on it. It's gonna be an S30B steel, G10 handle, scales. Great gentleman's knife, one of my first gentleman's knives. 1.371 ounces, so not bad, pretty light. And now the zero tolerance 0, 0, 022 or 22. Very nice knife, carbon fiber on this side, titanium on this side. 20 CV steel, made here in the USA. All these knives up top have been made here in the USA. Let's see its weight. I bet you it's pretty light. Eh, 1.748 ounces. So not the lightest, but not the heaviest. Pretty decent. And, uh, oops. As I said, this one has a pretty nice action. Not this one doesn't, but it's more of a push. And this is a uh, easier to deploy, or we're gonna have to deploy. Anyway, let's move on to the cheaper knives. This is the Kershaw. I believe it's the Silver Spur. Yep, Silver Spur. It's going to come in at, let's see, 2800 Japan Steel. So this one's going to be real light, but it's small. 0.6. 3.5 ounces, so definitely lightest so far. Now this one is the Magnum one. This is actually two knives and one. So you get this knife. So you can see the Magnum logo on. 420 steel. Sorry, I'm trying to show you 420 steel. And the other blade, very similar, just straight regular old blade, very similar in size. Weight, 0.635 ounces, so not bad, not bad, very light. I'm not sure if these pro handles are real or not, but they look very nice, I'd say. I inherited these three knives, so I don't know as much about them as these, because I bought these. Last knife I'm going to show you is CRKT. It is a uh, 
Nice knife, little light knife. Uh, it is a Ed Halgen Peck Engineer design with 5520 Taiwan steel. Uh, does have a pocket clip, which is nice because these two do not. All of these do. Oh, I guess this is a money clip, so it doesn't. You can make it a pocket clip. But let's get ow. Let's get its weight. I would be surprised if it's not the lightest one. Wow. Point. I am surprised. Kershaw takes it. 0. 0.919 ounces. So not as light as it appears, even though it is more skeletonized design. You can see when it's opened up. It's got that cut out, but I guess it doesn't reduce as much weight as I thought. All right. Now let's go ahead and go through them and get their width. So first with the Benchmade Ole, 380.36 inches in thickness. The 756 Micro Pocket Rocket, 0.44 inches in thickness. The Microtech UTX-70, oops, clip, 0.32 inches in thickness. The Impel Lurch, 0.35 inches in thickness. The Zero Tolerance, 0022. I'm trying to get not on the pocket clip and not on the pivot, it's hard. But I think 0.44, a little bit thicker on this one, definitely. Those anodized backstops. The Kershaw. 0.29. The Magnum knife with two knives in one. 0.38. Not bad considering you get two knives. And the Kershaw. Which I'll take technically down here. Technically, it's 0.08 inches if you take it from where the knife meets right there. But if you take it from like the center, let's say, 0.29 inches. So yeah, that's just some information and comparison about these uh, pocket knives and gentlemen's knives. Tell me what you think. Let's get a conversation going. Hopefully that was informative. I know it's just a lot of information just getting thrown at you. Uh, but these are all great knives, uh, especially the ones up top. I really love them. Of all these knives, honestly, they all have special meaning. And uh, sorry, just get my money back in there. Uh, I actually do use this as a pocket uh, money clip. Um, so yeah, these are great knives. This one especially, check out. It's, it's, it's just discontinued, but if you can find one, this is a badass knife. It feels great in the hand. Anyway, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. Justin and Frank here. Take care.